We are Ilya and Azra, and now that we've finished the messy part of insulation and drew the basic layout, it might be a good idea to make a 3D model of the van interior so we know exactly what we're gonna get. Welcome to Van Lifea. Now that we have the plan for the van, the van plan, the next logical step is to make a 3D model out of it so we can have perception of depth and what goes where as opposed to just a bunch of 2D sketches, obviously. Found a model of a van on the internet and I built this kind of box with the back door and the side door. And what we're gonna start with is building the platform for our feet. This is not the bench we'll be sitting on. This is the elevated platform under which you will have um, water and power and other things that you don't need to access regularly. So that is the platform. And then on this side, we're gonna raise the platform even higher and this is the bench. The bench you sit on and the bench that will turn into the bed. And then you're gonna have another support on this side so we can drill that into the wall of the van, keep it sturdy and keep it propped up. Now we can do the side cupboard. So opposite the bench, on top of the platform is where we're gonna have the side cupboard, which is gonna be the majority of our storage. Since we decided not to go with the overhead cupboards, which take up all that space I was talking about, we do need to have storage somewhere. So we sectioned off an entire side of our van just for storage. Because we're unexperienced travelers. I mean, we're gonna try to cut down and we've already started cutting down on things, but so we're gonna need some extra space space for clothes, for tech. I have so much tech, it's incredible, especially because I'm a photographer and I have to have all this equipment. So I decided to make the overhead part kind of come out a bit since there's extra space there. So to use, utilize that space is gonna stick out, whereas the cupboard is gonna be more narrow. So there's more space for us to sit or lie down or whatever. Now that that part's finished, we can start building the kitchen. Now the kitchen will be comprised of two counters, one in the front and one on the side. And then this placeholder in between will actually be the gap, which is the space for the shower eventually, the shower curtain and the portable toilet. So we built the counter, we put this placeholder to keep space and we're gonna build the other counter. Now I've removed the placeholder and we can put up the countertops and it's gonna start taking shape because our kitchen is a little bit weird. It's very unusual, not the kind of kitchen you used to see in van pictures. See, it's separate, it's made of two pieces, both of them away from the doorway. That way we can utilize the little corner um, to actually be functional. And we can build the drawer faces so that it's more recognizable and more beautiful, obviously. And then the cupboard doors, um, I actually drew them to be 18 mil on this picture. They're gonna be a lot thinner. They're only gonna be eight mil um, because plywood, real plywood is really expensive. So while the construction is gonna be made of OSB board, which is pretty cheap, plywood expensive. So instead of 18 mil, which is really pricey, we're gonna do eight mil, which is much thinner and should also be lighter um, in terms of registering the van, it should be a little bit easier because you know we're weight limited because we have just the basic driver's category. And we tilt the doors open so that we know which way they're opening so it doesn't just look like a plane. And, and as this empty pace, above the box is actually gonna be part of the countertop which opens. So when it's closed, it's a countertop. When it opens, you can enter inside the little bathroom space. Now, I'm not sure how this front piece of the overhead cover is gonna look, whether or not we're gonna have it at all, but we might as well put it there just to have a concept of how the, the side cupboard and the overhead cupboard is gonna look. So then the overhead cupboard can get some doors as well. These doors will be opening vertically, obviously. That is the most common and probably the best way to do it as far as overhead cupboards are concerned. And we'll just multiply them to fill up the entire overhead cabinet section. Open them up a bit so we know which way they're opening. And this is starting to take shape. And give it some color, some material, so that we know what is what. Now obviously it's not all gonna be the color of, of raw plywood. All these interior structures are OSB board and the outside will be plywood. Some of it will be white-ish, some of it will be dark-ish just to, so we can give it some color contrast. But for now, so we know the materials and we'll give it some plywood pattern. Uh, so, so this is what it will look like inside 
the van, you can unhide the model and see what it's gonna look like. So again, this was a really quick model. I have no 3D modeling experience, but I just wanted to envision what I put on paper in a 3D space and hopefully it also makes a little bit clearer what we're going for. Hopefully that's doable in real life. We're about to find out because we're starting the construction bit and then fingers crossed everything goes well, including the paperwork later, which needs to confirm that it's a safe structure and safe to drive and safe to be on the road. Moving on to the fun bits, but in the next vlog. See ya.